Funeral services for Doris Goodwin Harbison, age 87, of Crane Hill, will be at 2 p.m. tomorrow at Nichols Funeral Home in Addison, the Reverend Larry Duke officiating, burial in Bethany Baptist Church Cemetery, Nichols Funeral Home directing arrangements. Ms. Harbison passed away Sunday at her home. This station will be 5 to 8 p.m. tonight. Funeral services for Margaret Irene Bennett, age 89, of West Point, will be at 1 p.m. today at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. The Reverend Howard Wolf officiating burial in Ebenezer Cemetery. Moss Service Funeral Home is in charge. The family will receive friends from noon until 1 p.m. today at the funeral home. Memorial services for Jean Moses, age 77, of the Blair community are incomplete, will be announced later by Coleman Funeral Home. She passed away yesterday at her residence. Funeral services for Phyllis P.J. Jeanette Dodson, age 50, will be at 1 uh, p.m. tomorrow at Bethany Baptist Church in Crane Hill, and that should be 11 a.m. The Reverend Johnny Freeman officiating burial in the church cemetery. The body will lie in state from 10 to 11 a.m. Coleman Funeral Home in charge. Ms. Dodson passed away Saturday at her residence. A private memorial service for Nancy Caroline Googe, age 71 of Vinemont, will be held later in Tupelo, Mississippi. Coleman Funeral Home is assisting. Ms. George passed away on Sunday at her residence. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Welcome to Today on 2, and Joel's filling in for Dennis today. I am. Here I am again. Whoa. You thought you would gotten rid of me, and I got back. You just keep bouncing back, don't you? I do, I do. Yeah. And, of course, Today on 2 is brought to you by Premier Bank. And, well, okay. Anyway, and I wanted to remind everybody that you can stream live to get us. You can YouTube to Absolutely. get us. You can Facebook and we Twitter. We are all over the internet. All that good stuff. So yeah. even if you don't have us on your cable, if you don't have cable, you can still watch Channel 2. You sure can. I, I, I like uh, being able to tell my parents that. Yeah. Because, you know, a lot of people actually don't you know get channel two don't have and cable. and yeah. and so they yeah. they get to watch it on the internet yes they do all right handy well as i was driving to work this morning the clouds were really quite pretty uh, but i didn't know exactly what that meant so you're let's right. take a look at that let's, let's take look a look at the weather, weather. <laughs> make the switch to mitch mitch chevrolet all right uh today's almanac the average high is going to be 71 and the average low is going to be 42 degrees Sunset today is going to be at 7.08 p.m. and sunrise is going to be at 6.34 a.m. There is a look at the national radar. As you can see, we're quite cloudy here in Alabama. Let's take a look at our local weather radar. Uh, there you go. You can see we got some spotty cloud coverage down here. Of course, that might be clearing up here in the next few days. So let's take a look at our seven day forecast. Today it's going to be sunny, breezy, high near 77. Tonight clear, low around 52. Tomorrow partly sunny, windy, high near 75. Thursday cloudy, very windy, 30% chance of rain, high near 76. Friday partly sunny, 60% chance and the, of morning showers, high near 75. Saturday it's going to clear up, sunny, high near 65. Sunday partly sunny, 30% chance of rain. You know, it just looks like we're going to have some some spotty weather here for the mm -hmm. next couple of days yeah. it's not yeah. making up its mind no of course it's spring it's right. spring but at least we're in the 70s and the 60s and not down into the 30s and uh <laughs> yeah no really yeah. it's it, i walked outside this morning absolutely expecting it to be cold and mm -hmm. it was not i was 
very happy. Yeah, definitely. Pleasantly surprised. Right. And I know you have a busy week lined up. Oh you my said. goodness, yeah. I, I do. We're, uh, you know, not to mention we're we're buckling down on our on our Beatles show over at mm -hmm. Wallace. Right. Um, I I've got. Uh, we just came off spring break. Oh so, yeah. So you know, yesterday was a good reality check back into the real world. You know. Yeah. We uh, I, I took a last ditch effort. You know, to save my spring break down to a uh, trip down to Gulf Shores this Very last good. weekend. Very so, good. Did you uh, have fun? You know, I did have fun. I've never been to Gulf Shores. Really? I haven't. And I, I, we always take trips to Pensacola or okay. or um, or Destin. Okay. So so we went down to Gulf Shores and and I got to go to Lulu's. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, and I heard it was Jimmy Buffett's sister. sister. Mm -hmm. And I've I was just there. you know twenty dollars later. <laughs> we. <laughs> We were having a good time. They had a great live band down there. And, oh, good. You know, it was just a lot of fun. Um, you know, other than the fact that I'm a little tanner than got usual. Got a little red. I got a little, got a little red. Got a little and red. I don't really okay. tan. I pink. Yeah, you pink it's, up and then a, does it go. A difference. And it peels and it goes away. <laughs> and then yeah. it goes away and yeah. I'm left back at the beginning. <laughs> right. You're a fair-skinned person, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, good for you. Glad well, yeah. you got to enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Good. Let's talk about the Facebook friend. Do we have one today to announce? Sally Alexander is going to be our Facebook friend of the day. Of course, Sally likes Leonard Skinner yep. and uh, the Food Network. Food Network. <laughs> And we're glad she likes Food Network. Because we're going to get, get the large barbecue <laughs> sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's famous barbecue. Yeah. Congratulations, Miss Sally. Yay, yay. Well, of course, George is here and Adam McDowell, right? The drum line. Yeah, with the Coleman uh, drum yeah. line, Coleman High School drum line. And they have, a, I think, a fundraiser coming up. So yes, Adam's they do. here to the, talk about that today. Hear about and that. So, yeah. So we've got all kinds of great things going on today, as usual. Absolutely. All right. So don't go away. We'll be right back. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens, dual fuel, double ovens, and they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room, the best room, your kitchen. We're devoted to it, and you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. and commentary on this uh, was a Tuesday already. Well, you can tell it's a big news day when the headlines in the Coleman Times says free dump day set for May. <laughs> well, I, I, it, I guess it depends on who you are and how much, dump, how much garbage you've got <laughs> and have to be reminded maybe. It's interesting that in years, for years, this thing's gone by, no one said a thing except, of course, the notice you got with your electric bill if you are a member of the uh, cooperative. I think maybe the city residents get the same privilege of having uh, one free load of garbage taken to the landfill. But nonetheless, uh, in years past, you had to have your account number, Coleman Electric Cooperative account number. Uh, and it's been two, three, four years maybe since I've used this, uh, this little slip or this opportunity. But uh, it, uh, the story doesn't mention that. And you might have that account number ready if you've got a truckload of stuff to take down there things to do and don't with a common landfill i have learned remember don't go down on a muddy day not a good idea okay uh, because you could almost get stuck trying to back up to the, the pile of garbage that uh, the guy with the big crusher is working on 
and certainly there are some days, I don't know what it is, I went down one day a couple of months ago, and there were buzzards everywhere. I mean, vultures, buzzards out there. It's a little spooky. It reminded me of Alfred Hitchcock, you know. And uh, But that's the only time I've ever seen that situation happen. Also, a uh, story in the Cullman Times about uh, a Jamaican-based scam making the rounds in North Alabama. Pretending to be Publishers Clearinghouse, you've won literally millions. But all you have to do is send us a small $3,000 payment to ensure your earnings or your uh, your winnings. Don't go for that, right? I mean, one individual here, Larry Foles, come and received a phone call apparently uh, last week saying he had won all this money from including a Mercedes-Benz. The flashier the, the prize, the more tempting it may be to respond to something like that. I'll tell you what I have had, too, and I know a lot of folks who have, and that is a call that will ring once, and then you say, why did they hang up? So whenever you call back, the meter's running. I think area code, I was trying to think of the area codes. There are a couple of them, 712 maybe or something like that. It, and the old, well, it's not really old, the rather recent ideology and judgment, don't answer it if you don't know who the people are, sticks don't do that i mean uh, this if it's important enough they'll leave a message right so that's the best thing to do but whenever you know that dog on cell phone thing that has made us more on edge than anything else i think in history because we feel like we have to answer it <laughs> you're going down the road your cell phone rings you look over to see who it is you know and again that becomes an issue because then your 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 eyes are off the road so just if you don't know the people don't answer that cell phone let them leave a message or whatever. Well, some things come this time of the year, daffodils and the rating of uh, gambling machines for our Attorney General Luther Strange seized more than 1,000 gambling machines yesterday during raids at casinos in Greene County. Those folks down there say that some of their legislators that they wish they wouldn't raid those things. That's so it brings a lot of jobs. <laughs> you know, it must with a thousand machines. Goodness gracious! But you know that's an issue that takes a lot of people's uh, separates them from their social security checks. You know, and that's exactly what happens in many cases in these doggone casinos. Of course, we know that the poor arch Indians have their own casinos, or you can go to Tunica. <laughs> so, one way or another, if there's a vice, it's going to find its way as in terms of providing an opportunity for you to take advantage of it. Governor Robert Bentley says he still hopes to get a 2% pay raise for public school employees, even though we're running out of time in the, this session. He said yesterday he'd like to see a 2% pay raise in addition to the bonus that uh, the legislature's uh, considering for state employees and retired state workers. So he's trying to hold true to that, I guess. Uh, you know, it must be a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. Taco Bell rolled out its first ever breakfast menu. I'm not too much for Mexican food for breakfast, but I'm sure that they've got something that would taste good. Taco Bell, and what's McDonald's doing to combat that? They're providing, how about a free small cup of coffee? For the next couple of weeks, a small cup of coffee. I don't know that that'll make a dent or will make a difference, but we do know that the big boys, McDonald's and uh, and uh, Burger King, have had wars going on for some time, you know, ever since probably they opened up their second store, each of them. And in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a couple of years ago, the sister to two twin boys, actually they're not really boys anymore, they're in their 60s, went to check on the two that had uh, diabetes, had some health issues, went to their home in Nashville, or rather in Chattanooga. They couldn't get an answer on the door. She called police they, to do a welfare check. They would not go in. Meanwhile, everyone outside is wondering, I guess everyone's okay. They've got uh, the yards mowed and things are kept clean. Well, finally this week, they decided the, one of the uh, relatives of these two twins got access to a key, went inside, and here are these two brothers in recliners, mummified, been dead for years. Which makes you wonder who mowed their yard. What's going on there? There's probably a lot more to that story than what we're reading, I bet. Stay tuned, more of today on two after this. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. 
However, old fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. And now it's time, I think, for Know Your Merchant, right? Absolutely. So we're going to be giving away some prizes. Let's see what our prizes are for today. Do we have a list Today's of those? prizes. Oh. They are going to be the cheeseburger combo from the Busy Bee Cafe. Yummy. And a P a two tickets to Coleman Kiwanis Club, 58th Annual Pancake Day on April the 5th. That's coming up real soon. And, of course, a large three-topping pizza from Hansville Pizza Hut. Man, if you like food, today's your day to win. <laughs> That's right. right. They just need to pay attention, give us a call when the time is right. And so well, let's take a look at these ads, starting with Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. Call Holly Mullins today to book. That's 256-620-JOLLY. They have licensed inflatable slides, water slides, optical courses, all kinds of stuff at Jolly Time Rentals. And Hanky's Auto Service Center, automotive repairs, new tires, and they pump your gas for you. It's located in the Exxon across from the North Coleman Shopping Center. Go check those guys out. Brand new, and they do a great job. It's my party. Balloons of all shapes and sizes available. Singing telegrams from Lulu the Gorilla. Anything you could possibly want for any type of party at It's My Party, located right there on 2nd Avenue Southeast. Brown & Company Beverages. It's located on Highway 157 Northwest in Coleman, next to the Ford dealership. They do all wine and beer, and they have no calories. April Fools. Yep. Mullins Body Shop. You've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and towing, and you can count on them today. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth, or Jim. Deb's Bookstore. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road. They have gift certificates available for all those gift needs. Browsers are welcome. Used books are half price every day and new books are 20% off on 3rd Street Southwest in Coleman. And the Candle Garden has over 50 great fragrances uh, for their poured candles and they can of course have all kinds of great gift items and check them out at their new location right next to Moe's Bar Mo's Barbecue. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. They have fitness opportunities. They have a six lane competition pool, full fitness center complete with weights, cardio and professional training. Go check them out. And let's see, we have hair by Loretta. Uh, hair is my passion. Passion. Sorry, I can't read that. <laughs> Highlights, haircuts, manicures, pedicures, and waxings. New clients get $5 off and they're located at the Kalos Salon right there on First Avenue. So go check that out at the Kalos Salon. And Grand Point Pharmacy, it's the original home of the two old goats, arthritis and fibromyalgia product line. Open 7.30 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Third parties are welcome, located on Highway 31. Barnett Tax Service, doing tax returns, filing them electronically, and bookkeeping services all year long, including the W-2s and the 1099s, serving Coleman now for 41 years. Auto Tech Repair and Service. They do a major engine repairs, transmission repairs, brake repairs, foreign and domestic auto repairs, located in Vinemont, Alabama. That's a uh, good one. Alabama Sunrooms and Awnings, where they have patio and deck covers, awnings, metal roofs, vinyl siding, garages, buildings. They do free estimates, and if they do it, it's built right. That's Alabama Sunrooms and Awnings. All right. All right. Hope everybody's been paying attention because if you do know the answer to the question, you need to give us a call at 256-734-7399. And we are going to be asking about who does it, uh, where do you need to check before you go any place else when you're doing taxes, who has like the best deal in town, right? That's a good question. Yep. Who has like the best price in town when you're doing taxes? What's the name of the company that is advertising with us on Know Your Merchants? And let's take a look at Money Matters right now and we'll give you just a few minutes to give us a call. 
Good morning. I'm Ashley Lee with Premier Bank. I would like to take a moment to talk to you about the benefits of having a debit card. Debit cards are accepted everywhere that MasterCard and Visa cards are accepted. This is helpful due to the fact that it will limit the amount of cash you will have to keep. If a debit card is lost, a simple phone call to your local bank can cancel the card. Where cash, once it's lost, most of the time you will never see it again. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you. Okay, if you're interested in doing taxes, okay, where's the best place to go that has the best price whenever you, you need to go to a, a, a some right. place to do your taxes for you, right? All right. Our number is 256-734-7399. Do we have any callers? No. Okay, no callers. No callers. All righty. Sad we're, day. We're going to go ahead and continue on then with the rest of the ads. Maybe tomorrow they'll get the answer right. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe okay. not. <laughs> do, okay. All right, we're going to start with Tires for Less. It's more than just tires. They do feature Bridgestone and Firestone. You can get the oil changed there, minor engine repairs done. Check those shocks and brakes and have them changed out. Go see Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. Alabama Sunrooms and Awnings. They do sunrooms and screen rooms, patio and deck covers, awnings, metal roofs, vinyl siding, garages, buildings, free estimates. If they do it, it's built right. That's Alabama Sunrooms and Awnings. And Cotton State Barns of Coleman, where you can buy or rent to own. Carports, play sets, utilities trailer storage buildings no credit check you're approved located right there on highway 278 west just past i-65 and dairy queen's blizzard of the month is mint oreo available through the month of march so it is done gone. it is so <laughs> gone no more you, you might be able to go and get that well there's cups accounting and tax service quality service at very reasonable rates you need to check with cups before you pay too well, much there's the answer we were looking that's for that's cups accounting and tax <laughs> service yeah be fit, change your life and your body. You're now open, no contract, $50 a month. A personal trainer is included, located right next door to Renard's Galleries and Gifts. And of course, there is that Kayla Salon again, and the hair by Loretta. And of course, the hair is her passion. She can do highlights, haircuts, manicures, pedicures, and waxings. And new clients right now get $5 off. They're located right there at 1622 First Avenue Southwest. And that is at Kayla Salon. I haven't been there, but hair is also my passion, so I think we'd get along. Oh, right. Earl's Body Shop, voted best towing service, celebrating 50 years of serving you. They do large and small towing available, locate local or long distance, Highway 31 North Coleman. You can visit them at earlsbodyshop.com. And Easter blessings are sent out to you from Yates Chance Christian Bookstore. They're located right there in the South Coleman Shopping Center. And if you want something that's Christ-filled as a gift to send for Easter, that's where you need to go. Uh, Mr. Hicks Menwear, they have all the new prom looks for this season. Come and see them there in Coleman. Hansful Pizza Hut, 10% off for all Wallace State students. Is that where you're eating That's lunch That's exactly today? where I'm eating lunch. Yeah, a lunch buffet available from 11 to 2. They're located right across from Wallace State Community College. That's Hansful Pizza Hut. And Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, they offer the family barbecue pack, which includes a pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns, $13.99. What a deal, and it's great food. And Barnett Tax Service, doing tax returns, electronic filing, and of course bookkeeping services. Elna is located on Main Avenue, just one block north of the post office, and you don't even need an appointment. Just walk in with all of your information and she'll help you get your taxes filed. All right, now do we have any birthdays to announce We today? have a couple of birthdays. Right. Let's check out and see who our birthdays are for today. Let's see if we April the 1st, April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Day, you know? Yeah. Eddie Pinehart, Lori Turner, and Sonja Motskis. Happy birthday. Of course, y'all's names will be put into the drawing for our Dairy Cream, Dairy Queen ice cream <laughs> cake. There's See, a little difference. Times. There's See, a little difference there. Fast, huh? <laughs> All right, don't go away. We will be back with Mr. Adam McDowell in just a minute. In the nation, we reward safe driving. Add Vanishing Deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off every year of safe driving, which means you could save a lot of Benjamins. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side.
Adam McDowell is with us today, and of course he is with Coleman High School. He is the assistant band director, is That's right. that correct? Okay, mm -hmm. and how long have you been there? Uh, this will be completing my second year. Okay, good. Uh, absolutely loving every single day. It's so much fun to work with the great staff and the students and the administration. It is really a joy to be there. Uh, now, do you play drums yourself? I do. Awesome. Uh, I study drums in college and percussion. Uh, I played drums at my church. And uh, so it's kind of my whole life. Right. Okay. That's awesome. Very good. So it, I guess it's a natural fit then that you should be in charge of the drum line. I enjoy it. It <laughs> seems to work out pretty well so far. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. And y'all are having a fundraiser, right? Mm -hmm. What's the money going to go for? Let's start with that. Well, uh, the activity is called Indoor Drum Line. And so all the funds support that activity um, are, are dues for our membership circuit, um, getting buses and transportation, uh, cost of new equipment, and maintenance of the equipment, and uh, just general things of that nature to support the activity. Okay. Um, we are in need of a portable generator to, uh, when we're out in the lot warming up and stuff, we have some electronic equipment and things. And so we need a small generator to kind of give us some power to run the amps and the mixer and the keyboards and that sort of thing. Okay. And, uh, so we're in the market for a new one of those, and okay. we're looking at one of those little small you know, sure. inverter generators that are really sure. quiet. Right, right. 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 So, yeah. uh, they don't overpower the whole drummers. Mm -hmm, and exactly. Rest, so so yeah. all of these things together, uh, it's, it's an annual event, dinner with a drum line, and so all of the funds raised kind of support that activity. Now, is this the first year that y'all have done this particular type of fundraiser? This particular one, yes. Um, uh, years previous, it has just been just a catered dinner if you will mm -hmm. and uh, we wrapped up last year and me and some of the staff Mr. Smith and my wife she's of course you gotta have her involved uh, we sat around and kind of brainstormed you know what's some a different way a different approach we could look at and uh, you know try to get some more of the community involved and that sort of thing and uh, we landed on this idea of a soup cook-off okay and uh, with some great parents help and everything we we've been able to put together eight local restaurants that are going to donate in their favorite soup. Okay, very good. Everybody that comes will get a free sample of every soup that we have. Okay. Ballot to vote. <laughs> okay. So at the end of the night, we will have the fan favorite picking Coleman's Best Soup 2014. Okay. And we also have three guest judges that are going to be there as well. Okay. We have uh, Superintendent Dr. Doreen Griffith, mm -hmm. um, Chief of Police Kenny Culpepper, mm -hmm. okay. and Councilman Andy Page. Okay, very That's good. Those awesome. are three guest judges, and so we'll have a judge's award and then the fan favorite award as well. And you know, actually, that is a tough job to try to judge food That's and really try hard. to determine which one's the best and all the, this other good kind of stuff. So I'm glad it's them and not me. Right, right. I would, I would not be able to pick. I would just be eating and eating. And right, right. <laughs> now, what restaurants do you have involved? Uh, you're going to put me on the spot here, see if okay. I can get them off the top of my head. Okay. We have Logan's, Busy Bee, Rumors Deli, Sweet Peppers, Top of the Town, okay. All Steak, mm -hmm. I'm up to six, one right? More. Yes, you one are. One more. Well, actually, you Ooh. had two more. Two more. There's yeah. eight. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it just would be nice. I'm, I should know this off the top of my head. Jim okay. and Nick's. Okay. Carlton's. There, there we go. go. Okay. Very pull my good. cheat sheet out here. There we go. Now, see, then, I didn't know some of them actually had soups. soups right. You know, so. so you got to come out and see what it's all about. Yeah, right. exactly. See what their favorite soup is and if it is your new favorite. Right. So now this fundraiser, is it is it just going to be the dinner or is there something else involved in that night? As soon as uh, dinner is over. We're going to have some door prizes for everybody that's there. And then we're going to move over into the old gym. And we're going to have uh, the final performance of our indoor drum line. Our, our show this year is titled The Escape. Huh. Oh. So you can use your imagination as to what might be going on there. That's okay. really cool. And then also uh, we're going to have uh, the debut performance, the first ever Coleman Middle School percussion ensemble oh, as well. That's something We've cool. been uh, working on a little piece with those guys and the students and uh they really enjoy it. It's a kind of a toe-tapping number, if you will. Right, so, right. Very two great good. performances, uh, awards, soup, you know, dessert, you name it, we got it. Come on out. Doesn't get better. And when is it? When's it it is this start? Thursday night, this coming ah, Thursday night, April okay. the 3rd, okay. at the high school, the cafeteria. Okay. Uh, dinner's going to serve, be served at 6.30, okay. promptly at 6.30. Okay. Awards and presentations to follow, and then again, the performances in the gym immediately after. And they can pay at the door. Yeah, we have, we'll have some tickets available at the door. Okay. Our students have been out selling, you know, right. in the streets, selling okay. tickets and everything. How we'll have some more available at the door. Awesome. It's $10. Okay. $10. $10. Okay. Um, years 
Uh, prior, it's been a little bit more than that, but changing things around, mm -hmm. we wanted to try to make it as affordable as we can, okay. still be a fundraiser, right. and offer as just as much as we can with various soups, all the desserts, drinks, entertainment. Okay. All, it's a all good evening for 10 bucks. Yeah, it is. It does awesome. sound very good then. Of course, at Coleman High School, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So that's this Thursday. This Thursday. And it starts again at what time? 6.30. 6.30. So doors okay. open, food serve, 6.30. Okay. Awesome. And then you could buy tickets at the door, not a problem, or mm -hmm. you could buy from the students that are probably all trying to compete against each other and sell as many <laughs> that's, as possible. That's the plan. But, yeah. But a good way for uh, everybody to really, it highlights the restaurants in town, but mm -hmm. it also involves the community, which is a good thing. All right. yeah. Absolutely. You get to see all the right. middle school band for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for Thank being here. Thank you guys here. for having me. I really appreciate it. it. Yeah. All right. Don't go away. We'll be back. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. And now it's time for our Community Billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Coleman Strawberry Fest 5K 10K Run will take place on Saturday, May the 10th at 8 o'clock in the morning at the Fest Hall. 5K is 25, 10K is 30. For more information, contact Katie Free, 256-507-1533. Impact 127, that's they're collecting school supplies, dental supplies, eyeglasses, and lightweight children's shoes for an upcoming mission trip. And they, you have until April the 17th to drop off supplies in a bag at Happy Homes Real Estate. They're located right there at 221 2nd Avenue Southeast. Coleman Kiwanis Club 58th Annual Pancake Day will be taking place Saturday at Coleman High School Cafeteria from 6 until noon. It is a $7 donation. Drive-through pickups are available. And the New York Theater Ballet performing for the Coleman Community Concert Series will be taking place on Sunday at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at the Betty Leith Haynes Theater on the Wallace State Campus. Single tickets are $20 for adults, $10 for students. For more information, give them a call 256-255-1515. April walking tours will start this Saturday uh, for the whole month of April beginning at 10 in the morning at the Coleman County Museum. The walking tour is free. Just take advantage of the spring weather and this great opportunity. And the Share Club is presenting a tour of homes on Sunday, April the 27th from 1 until 5. It's a $15 donation. Brochures and tickets may be purchased from Share Club members, Coleman Cabinet, The Added Touch, From the Heart, and Littleville Blue Antiques. All proceeds help to benefit Hospice of Coleman County. And by recycling your aluminum cans through the Coleman Animal Shelter, you can help them provide for their homeless animals. They have a recycling bin at their location and all donations are welcome. If you have a community billboard you want to share, you can email us at channel2coleman at gmail.com, phone 256-734-7399, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. And for one last look at the weather, we are going to take a look to, at the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Today, the weather is going to be sunny, breezy, high near 77. Fantastic weather. Tonight, it's going to clear up low around 52. You know, I'm just I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, all right. That's... Well, good deal. <laughs>
And who's going to be on for tomorrow? Our guest tomorrow is going to be somebody talking about the April walking tours. Yeah, the, what, we've, what we've been talking about on Community Billboard. Absolutely. I think Mr. Drew Green from the museum Absolutely. will be here. Well, so. that, that'll be fun. Yeah. Thanks for filling in well, for us today. It's been my pleasure. It's been a really good day. All righty. <laughs> Hope you have a great day. Have a good day.